That's kind of fancy. With the leaves around it. I feel like I've seen that recently. All right. Well, we are here today in Belle Vernon, Pennsylvania. And we are sitting outside the Goodwill. Uh, it's been a few months since I stopped at this Goodwill. The last time the shelves were kind of sparse. Um, but it was later in the day, so um, it's earlier. I'm excited. Hopefully they're stocking. Uh, we're going to head in and see what they have to buy and flip our profit. Here we go. Okay, well, let's see what we can find here at the Belle Vernon Goodwill. This is really cute. What is that? Coles. Oh, a little travel-themed trinket dish, it looks like. This owl is kind of fun. Is that Italian? Hmm. Can't really tell. It's only $5.99. No chips or cracks, I think I'll grab them. Oh my goodness, look at all this uh, pottery on the shelves. This little guy is so cute. <laughs> I love him, $3.99. The little kitty. Um, and then what else do we have here? It looks like a little milk glass ashtray. And then all of this Williamsburg reproduction. Yikes, that's a lot. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh my gosh. On the one hand, there's a little bit of money to be made there. On the other hand, it is Williamsburg reproduction. I'm a little hesitant. Um, let's see. There is a perfume back here that's kind of cool. Go grab the perfume. Um, and then I was noticing these. I like those. You know what's worth money um, in Williamsburg is the uh, birdhouses. It's always worth looking for the birdhouses. So maybe I'll check the shelves for the birdhouse. There's two more candle holders. I kind of like those, so I'm gonna grab those as well. And then, that's a shame that's missing a stopper. It's like a fox. <laughs> it crafted in Japan. It kind of looks like a raccoon, or maybe a fox. I'm not sure. Interesting shape. A little bit of a solid on blue and green. <laughs> solid on blue. Ooh, there's a kitty figurine. That one's sweet. Lots of kitty figurines. It must have been somebody's collection. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> what is that, squirrel? <laughs> little kitty sleeping on top of that brass box. Okay, I'll take it. All right, we're off to a pretty decent start here. I, mean, I think that's Otakiri. Um, <laughs> it's Otakiri. Bud vase, this is kind of cool. S. Joe. It's broken at the top though. Is it worth grabbing even though it's broken? I don't know. Some of those stone figurines can be worth good money. So I'm gonna stick it in here. I guess I'll walk around and think about it a little. I like this. That's really pretty. Nice claws. Let's see what this is. Studio pottery. <laughs> that actually looks like a, another piece I picked up not too long ago. <gasps> Do you think we could find the mouse that goes with this? Because that would be epic. <laughs> Now it's getting exciting. You know, now it's a treasure hunt. Um, there's some more Williamsburg re uh, reproduction. Uh, Williamsburg is it reproduction? Just Williamsburg fact. Oh, fact ink. Hmm. Never noticed that before. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> this is neat. This is lucite. A pen, a desk organizer, and lucite. Hmm. It's neat. That's kind of fancy. With the leaves around it. I feel like I've seen that recently. Is that a leak? <laughs> I don't want to leave it behind just in case. It's $4.99. A little bed face in the back. This <laughs> must have been somebody's collection. There's no other explanation. I do like this with the cork bit. Hard on it. And here. Alright, so we've like basically done one aisle of this thrift store and 
feel like I've gone a little overboard. So there's a stein down here. There's no birdhouses. This is really interesting. That looks like is that EAPG of some sort. It has a weird pattern on it. I like it, but I also am like, mm. I feel like it might sit for a while. It's $8.99. It's pretty fancy. As long as there's no chips or cracks, maybe I'll give it a shot. Put some spaghetti in that. <laughs> Put a little spaghetti in there. Maybe not. Maybe jelly beans. Maybe that's more realistic. We'll go with jelly beans. There's a fun vintage face. $5.99. I do like the colors, but I'm gonna leave it behind. Glass shell. There's some really fun colors on that shelf. Nothing I need though. It's a cute little Vera Bradley pouch. That one could be a vintage Whiting and Davis. Let's look. Hmm. I don't see any markings on it. Maybe? It's got the mesh. It has a vintage look. Maybe I'll just grab it. I'm curious. There's the little elephant that goes with the cat. So this was hiding down here on the bottom shelf. I do love the horse handles. Um, it's marked USA 205. I don't know off the top of my head who makes it, but I do love those horse handles. So I think I'm gonna grab this. I always like to get down low and see what's hiding on the bottom shelves. Uh, one thing I noticed is this back here. That kind of looks like black glass. That is black glass. Oh, see, look, that's fun too. <laughs> What else is stashed back there? I wonder if that, no, that's ceramic. Heck yeah, let's stick those in here, shall we? A little bit of Lennox back here. That is $4.99. That is the bird, um, the bird dish. I think this one is still made in the USA. Eventually they changed their productions overseas, but that one is still USA. I think the versions are a little bit better all jar. I usually check the numbers on the bottom of those. That one is a five. <laughs> I know there's a superstition around the number 13 with those jars. There's a stein. This one is $4.99. Moving all the stuff up. <laughs> well, we never did find the little mouse, so I think I'm going to put that little block of cheese back. It was a little disappointing. I would have loved to have found that. <laughs> I always thought these were so cute. It's not worth it a lot, um, the shaker set. But it is really cute to have a little mouse just chilling in there. Uh, then we had these figurines. So I guess they're like little little farmer guys or something. Um, <laughs> where else were we looking? I just oh this. What was this? I'm just take a closer look. A little pheasant, probably for the wall. It's wall art. So I stepped away and I did a quick Google image search. It looks like my instinct was right on this. And my suspicion is that the signature is probably under this sticker and that's why I'm not finding it. Um, but here's one listed on Etsy for $557. Um, as far as Google image search goes, I say this with all of my Google image searches that I film. Um, I use this to ID stuff. I don't use this to price stuff. So I'll later go in um, and based on what I just found, I'll research what it sells for. Um, so these are all asking prices. This is what people are asking for across different marketplaces, eBay, Etsy. Um, but I'll do a little bit of my own research and figure out uh, what I should charge for it. So that's exciting. <laughs> my instincts were correct. We've got some Lalik in the cart. That is a winner. There's a pretty epic um, <laughs> enamel dish for only $4.99. I usually pick these up because they're safe to use around my birds. And they're pretty expensive to buy new. This one has no like markings at all. I don't know if it's, um, you know, <laughs> Target brand or um, if it's in fact, Le Creuset? I don't know. Um, what are these? Disney production shakers. Those are neat. I totally missed those. I was hoping there was a lid for this somewhere, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, total spend was $98. And we got an amazing piece of Lily Crystal. How much is it worth? I don't know. I haven't looked it up yet. Um, judging by what people are asking for it, it's probably quite valuable. Um, but that was that was the piece. That was 
a home run. Um, we're gonna make money on everything else. We're gonna come out ahead. Um, we're gonna make some profit, and that's the goal. So uh, I realized this video was probably a little short. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go somewhere else now. I'm not sure where, but in a few days, I'll probably take you on another adventure. So um, I'll see you there. All right, well, I was going to hit the road back towards Springfield when I looked at my GPS and I realized it's rush hour. And I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit in traffic. I'd rather shop at an antique mall. Um, so I decided to come around the corner here to Ohio Valley Antique Mall. I said it right. Um, I love coming here. It's massive. It is huge. I only have about an hour and a half um, because I want to get back to one of my favorite restaurants uh, before they close. But I'm going to do a little shopping. I'm going to beat that rush hour and um, we're going to see what we can find and buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. First stop is my favorite case in the mall. <laughs> this case right here. Uh, first thing I noticed was the pear. I feel like I need that pear for the upcoming Tutti Fruity train on knickknacks. That will be the piece that brings it all together. It's amazing, it's Oregon Flume. I'm obsessed. Um, the one next to it, that is a Lundberg. I think it's 350. I don't know if I could pay that and flip it. This uh, Submerso, I'm thinking might be Neodymium. It's giving off this like purple hint to it. Um, I think it might be, but I'm not sure I could pay 150, even with 10% off. Um, this is also beautiful. That reminds me of a paperweight that Christina had in our last paperweight extravaganza um, on knickknacks. You have to say it like that, and it sounds extra fun. Um, let's see, what do we have down here? A lot of this was here the last time I was here. But I think I definitely have to get that pair out. That looks like Robert Held right there. 65. Okay, I will take this one. Um, and the other one was the Orient and Flume right there. What is it? Orient and Flume, the pear, sorry. The pear. <laughs> I should have just said the pear things. The pear, I know it is. <laughs> it is a pear. Yeah, I will take that for 80. This case is always amazing. I have that fox. I bought it from Daryl. That one's in my collection. Some really great Van Briggle. Everything in this case, everything in here is 30 bucks. So it's just anything you see, it's $30. Uh, I was checking out some of these rings for the color carnival. I love the rainbows. Um, I thought maybe I could bring some of those to the color carnival, but the one I like is that, uh, I think it's a moonstone right there. It's like a hammered silver. Um, I would wear that. <laughs> it's a little chunky though. I don't know. I always say that and then I wear it for a little while and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to wear this anymore. <laughs> um, I'm just checking out what else is in here. Um, there's some really neat stuff. I like that. I think I looked at that horse the last time I was in here. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna take this little guy. Maybe if it focuses. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take that one. I like it. <laughs> I'll take that one. And this colorful guy. Maybe. Focus. Oh, good enough. All right, so I'm checking out this uh this piece right here. They say it's Blinko. Um, I love it. I just love the shape of it. So regardless of whether or not it's Blinko or not, um. I think I'm gonna grab that because it is 25% off. All right, beauty and 25% off. I think I'll take it. So far, all I have in my cart is an empty bag of chips. Because <laughs> everything I bought is in cases. Uh, what do we have over here? Little toothpick holders, a few fun paperweights. I have a while until we're gonna have our next paperweight sale. So I'm kind of pacing myself. So I feel like I spent all my time looking through cases because I have to get out of here in about 15 minutes um, to get to the restaurant before it closes. So I think I'm gonna go just poke around in the booths for a little while and see what we can find over there. <laughs> what in the world is this? This is like a, I was gonna say it looks like a wizard. <laughs> it's literally a wizard gown. That makes sense. 
that makes sense. I'm like, oh, okay. It's a whole vibe. <laughs> I still have that wizard hat um, at the shop. I could buy that gown and complete an entire ensemble. Um, illustrations of our brushes. I wanted to look at the carnival glass. Looks like 22 on that green carnival glass. Speaking of paperweights. <laughs> It's only $19.99. I'm not gonna grab it though. What is this wild looking thing? That's weird. Oh, it's an incense burner. It's so delicate. Makes me a little nervous. This mall is so massive. No way I'm gonna get through it in 20 minutes. So this is like the speed round. <laughs> Round. That is a freaking Stein lamp if I've ever seen one. Let's go get a closer look at that. What in the world is happening here? This is wild. 445 firm mid century lamp base with stained glass lampshade and an Aladdin Alicite finial. There's so much happening here. <laughs> If you were to put this in your living room, that would be a statement piece right there. This is just wild. Even the crazy lamp lady thinks that's crazy. Um, all right, let's go this way. I just kind of abandoned my cart, but we'll get back to it. Um, there's some Tonella, $24.50. Got a bird on it. This is a really cute set. Um, it's a set of three. Lavera, forty nine ninety five. I feel like that's kind of on retail. It's about what I could expect to get for it. I love picking up Lavera. Oh, hey, look at this little guy. He's only fifteen fifty. It's a Tonala elephant, right? Pretty sure. Oh yeah, look. Got a little flower on his back. No markings, um, but I think I'll grab him. Ooh. A fancy fish. I'm kind of obsessed with this fish. <laughs> it's $79 and 25% off. That is a nice fish. It's unlike other Marana fish I've seen because it's kind of a goldfish. <laughs> I love the colors. The lack of, I should say, the lack of color. Um, I like the silver flake with the clear. I don't see any chips are cracked. It's 79 and 25% off. Heck yeah. Alrighty. Let's stick that up here. Get us to ride shotgun. $14.95. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Colored carnival? Mm, maybe. It's so fun shopping with a theme. Like I I get enjoyment from that. Shopping with a theme in mind. It's like a mission. This is a purple vase for $20. I think this is actually neodymium. I don't know if it's so much a vase as it was supposed to be like a decanter. It's got beautiful facets and a flat bottom. Um, I don't know where we would test it. Let's see if this ball works. Nope, that's not it. Is it weird that I'm debating whether I want this? <laughs> it's 20 bucks and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it sh shouldn't be that hard. Oh, it's marked. What is it marked? Czechoslovakia? It's so smudged, I can't quite make it out. My guess is Czechoslovakia. I think I'm just gonna grab it. It may have been a decanter, but um, it can be used as a vase. Stick a flower in there. It's only 20 bucks. This is 20 bucks. I have a red, white, and blue sale coming up. Whether or not I get this in packed in time, I don't know. <laughs> But you know what? Fourth of July is coming, so this might be a good item to pick up for 20. 
Okay, well our total spend here today was $371. Um, I only shopped for an hour and a half. I think I did pretty well. Um, I found some really cool stuff. I was very excited about that fish. And I think that Orient and Flume pear is going to be a home run for the Tutti Fruity train. Um, I have two time slots in that train. So um, I'm going to be on Saturday and Sunday. And so I need lots of fruit things. Christina did tell me vegetables are included in that, but I'm going completely for fruit. I'm like challenging myself. It's not really much of a challenge though, but it is really fun <laughs> knowing that I have all of these knickknacks trains coming up and shopping based on a theme. It's exciting. It's really fun to like curate based on, based on these sales. Um, I'm enjoying it very much. I hope you guys are too. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get on the road. I'm going to go to the Caribbean restaurant, um, in Yellow Springs and, um, myself some dinner and veg for the night so I will see all of you guys tomorrow so long join us on knickknacks.net where you can browse over 58,000 listings check out multi-day auctions or live sales now featuring air plants Mexican pottery antique collectibles Ooh, it glows. Vinyl records, hand blown glass, and furs. Find what you're looking for on knickknacks.net.